Oh yeah, I am so stoked to be making this video, my friend. Runway Gen 2 is finally here. Now there's a bunch in here and the direct link, not, not an app link or anything like that, the direct link is going to be right in the description. It'll take you to runwayml.com. You just create a free account and then bam, you are right on this dashboard page right here. Now real quick, G1 and G2 just stands for Gen 1 and Gen 2, but hey, they tell you that right there. Now if you're interested in any of the Gen 1 tools, we did a very long video on the Runway Gen 1 tutorial, go ahead and check that out. This video is going to be for Runway Gen 2. Two. Now, one thing on a free account, you can generate up to 10 videos and download them for free. So I wanted to do this on a free trial account, or it's not really a trial, it's just a free account that Runway offers. So let's go ahead and go into Gen 2. It's going to be right on your dashboard right here. They do have an introduction how to use Gen 2 down here, but we're going to dive into that right now. So let's go ahead and click on that. There's two things you're going to notice on this page. Number one, and they put a little upgrade thing up here because you know it's it's an upgrade thing and that's what they want you to do no but in all serious number one is just going to be a write your prompt window there's going to be a couple things down here that we can mess with the first one is going to be a seed so if you generate something and say you want to generate it along a storyboard line you want them to be cohesive you want clip number two three and four on through ten to feel the same as clip number one, you're going to want to grab this seed and plug it into each following generative that you create. You can also do some things like interpolate, which smooths out your frames, and then there's upscaling and removing watermark, which you do have to upgrade for, but that's okay because we're going to generate just for free. The next thing right here is a duration. Gen 2 currently creates four seconds of video, and that's why the seed is very, very important because you can generate first four seconds and seconds second four seconds and they will look completely different. However, if they're running off the same seed, you can take these four seconds of video and make them appear to be an entire, say, 60 second or longer clip. Now we have an image upload here. If we click this, it'll just upload from our files. We can have it reference an image from our computer. Remember, this is not Gen 1. Gen 1 was video to video. Gen 2 is text to video or image prompt to video. So you can add an image prompt right here. And then of course we have the generate option once we write in our prompt. Something else is actually the community posts. And all we did here is just scroll down. And you may say, yeah, it's cool. We can see what other people generate. So what? Well, if you actually click in on these you'll notice there is a try this button and what that is going to do is it's going to reference this image for your prompt generation so let's say you want something like um, photorealistic or let's say you want something like Lord of the Rings animation you can try this say you want um, animal photography you can try this future scapes you can try this so that's really the use of this it's not just looking at what other people have created or other prompts in the system it's actually saying hey we want our prompt to reference that image so just keep that in mind before you start using up your uh, free time you can look and find something to reference so you can get it right the first time around. So let's go ahead and just write our prompt. For this, we did uh, alien spaceship invading New York City, and this was the initial prompt that you saw. We'll go ahead and enter that and then click on generate. Now it'll say upgrade for shorter wait times, but I'd really like to show you in real time how fast this is on the free account. You'll notice we're already at 12%, 22%, so it's going really, really fast. While we're in this window though, I want to mention this right here. There's a clickable link inside of this window as your generative is loading. It says your export will be saved to, and then mine is hustle assets. At any point in time, you can click on this or we can right click and open a new tab. And this will actually take us to our personal page. Page. These are the assets that we have actually generated and you can see that I even have my old Gen 1 stored right here. We have Gen 2 
stored right here. So you can also go and look at things such as shared with me and your projects. These are your projects in real time. And you can see that we just got our generative from Gen 2 finished. And if we click on play, we can see this four second video. Again, we can go down and see what seed phrase this is in. So if we click right here, we can see this is the seed. And then we can copy to clipboard. And then if we start another generative, we just want to go in and paste that seed where it says seed, and it will basically follow this. If you saw the video originally, or the first 20 seconds of this video you're watching with the generative strung together, you'll notice that the cinematography style, all the graphics, and kind of the whole vibe of the video stuck together, that is because we were using uh, the same seed. Now there's a few options up here you can expand, which will just make it full screen. Uh, you can report content. I don't know why anyone would report their own content unless they're uh, bug testing or something internal. And then you can download. So you can directly download whatever you generate to your computer. So I hope this helped. Remember, our Gen 1 tutorial goes over probably 30 tools inside of Runway. So I will put that up on the screen right now so you can check that out because there is much more you can do, including training your own generator to your specific needs. So that tutorial is much more expansive, but I had to cover Gen 2 because the potential here is just amazing. So much love to you guys. Remember, if you enjoyed this or videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That's my only shield to you and like the video on your way out or on your way to the next video. I will catch you next time.